Hello, hello. It's time to review the Houston Texans, who have had an interesting uh, season, probably disappointing if you're a Texans fan, uh, and another team that uh, is just not very exciting to me, not a great outlook uh, for this year. Brock Osweiler, uh, terrible investment, just not a starting quarterback, quite frankly, in this league. Uh, very good backup, sure, but not an $82 million quarterback. I think the second Houston gets a chance to get rid of him, um, he will be gone. Uh, and then another huge disappointment, Lamar Miller. Uh, I didn't have him on my top 10 running backs list coming into the year. Some of you thought I was crazy for that, uh, for having a guy like C.J. Anderson above him. But this guy has had opportunities. And he doesn't do anything with him. He's got tremendous speed. He, he looks like he's gained some weight in a good way. He just has no vision. He doesn't know where he needs to go. He doesn't um, have particularly good moves uh, as a running back. He just seems like a, a fast body. And it's a problem because they paid him a lot of money. I actually think Alfred Blue, who came in and, and looked very good last week, I thought he looked better than Lamar Miller's looked all year. Um, this offense is flat. They have no momentum. DeAndre Hopkins, such a freak, is just not um, involved. Will Fuller, a ton of potential at receiver. Just a lot of problems uh, for the Texans on offense. Defensively, they play they play aggressive. They they've been a pretty solid defense despite JJ Watt leaving. Whitney Merciless has really impressed me this year. Uh, Clowney. A lot of people have asked me uh, what's going on with Clowney. And he seems to maybe either he doesn't have the same explosiveness or he just relied too much on that explosiveness when he was so dominant in college and just hasn't developed, which is probably the more likely uh, reason why we're not hearing his name a lot. And um, just this defense has guys playing tough. Brian Cushing looks, looks pretty good. Uh, Bernardrick McKinney is a freak. There is a play they, that uh, – Detroit tried to run a uh, little pitch out to the left, and Bernardrick McKinney crashed into the right guard uh, and just blew him up, impacting the play a little bit. Um, and then the secondary, corners are all right. I thought Kevin Johnson looked the best out of all their guys, and he's headed to the IR. Uh, the safeties are replacement level. Um, but they definitely have pieces to build around. Uh, for this defense, uh, once you get J.J. Watt back, it changes everything. Uh, so it really revolves around if he, if J.J. can get his back healthy uh, in terms of the future. I, I think it's a positive outlook uh, if you can replace Osweiler. Um, they have such so many weapons on offense. Uh, you think it'd be an attractive spot for a quarterback um, to come and develop, but this year. It's the AFC South, so they might win, they might not. It really doesn't matter. These guys are not going to win a playoff game, uh, no matter uh, how many regular season games they can get within their own division. They'll probably finish around 500. Maybe they'll they'll stay at nine and seven, but just so such a low ceiling uh, for the Texans this year. Their defense isn't elite by any definition, and their offense is just bad. Um, so just that's just my outlook for the Houston. Um, so now we're going to move on and talk about the Colts, which will wrap up the AFC South, thank God. Uh, so we'll see you for the Colts.